Good afternoon. Uh, I am so excited to be here with you and to our studio audience while I read to you a book entitled Good, I mean, called Hair Love by Matthew A. Cherry. My name is Zuri, and I have a hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it's beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I'm a princess. I see some people with funky braids with beads in the audience. And when my hair is in two puffs, I'm above the clouds like a superhero. I see some puffs out there. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There's nothing my hair can't do. Today, I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Still sleeping. Shh, I told Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> because today is special, I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Uh-oh. Paws off, Rocky! Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth? He asked. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? Piece of cake, Zuri. The first style was a big no way. What did he do to her hair? He put it in, in, in three, three, three puffs, really, yeah. Yeah, he put in three puffs. She didn't like the three puffs, huh? It was no better. No, Daddy! Then, Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch! Daddy yelled. Looks like a rubber band popped off of her puff and hit Daddy in the eye. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. <laughs> Daddy, really? I said. I'll be right back, he promised. Look at her now. Whoa. Whoa. That's right. That's what it looks like when I'm helping my daughters do their hair. How's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on. We can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Then, I had a great idea. Mm, let's see, what's gonna happen next? What will she look like next? Daddy gathered all the tools we needed, and we were set. He combed, <coughs> parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. Funky puff buns, pretty pretty and so much fun, Rocky approved too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuri? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest supergirl I've ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and Bean. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair love. The end. That was a great book, wasn't it? So what was your favorite part of this book? Somebody tell me. Yes, tell me your name. Um, where her dad figured out you know, how to do her hair. So your name is? Makaya 
Makayla. So Makayla said her favorite part was when Dad actually figured out how to do her hair. Okay, your name? Your favorite part was when he put three puffs in there and she didn't like those three puffs. I know, that was cute. What's your name? Chloe. Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. All right, one more. What was your favorite part? Way in the back. When he, when he put those two braids in there. Right, that, right. And that's when she became a super girl. Good, 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 good. So how many of you all have had an experience where your daddy was trying to do your hair? Yeah. What did it did it come out good the first time he did it? No. Some people say yes, some people yes. most people say no. Right. Some say yes, some say no. Right. Do you, is it fun when daddies are doing your hair? No. <laughs> some people say no, some say yes. I will tell you. So my daughters, um, I think I was telling you before we started the video, that I have I help them sometimes wash their hair. And when they were little, when they were babies, I always gave them their baths and washed their hair and stuff. Now you know, of course, they're too old for me to give them baths. Um, but, and they go to the hairdresser most of the time to get their uh, hair done. But, uh, but there are times in between the hairdressers that my daughter Zion especially will say, will ask me if I would wash her hair and blow dry it so it can make it straight, you know, because we just, we straighten it just with the blow dryer. And, um, and so it's a long process because her hair is thick, you know, and, and I'll pull out that pink just like um, Zuri's daddy did and try to pull it out straight and she'll be like, ah, ah, daddy, stop, you know. Um, and um, so it's the same at my house as it was for Zuri, but by the time it's all over, she's smiling, I'm smiling, and picking up hair off, off the floor. And, um, <laughs> and then she gets to go ahead and do her hair the way she likes. So this is a great story about a relationship between a daughter and her father and how her hair is what connects them in their house. So even though the mother is not necessarily doing the, the daughter's hair in this particular instance, it's the mother who they learn from because he said at the end he learned everything he learned from the mommy. So he watched the mommy do the daughter's hair and then he helped. So it says to you that it doesn't matter if it's your mommy or your daddy, any of your parents to help you with your hair because we know that as a young lady, your hair is like your crown, right? Yeah, it's like it's important to you. You know, and so um, hopefully you'll have an opportunity if you have not already to maybe give your dad or your uncle or your big brother a chance to um, help do your hair. And then come to school, let me see it. Okay. <laughs> Only if it's perfect for you. Thank you so much for listening to the story today. And thank you to our studio audience. And I hope that you enjoyed this month's um, SEL book, Hair Love.